In this video, we're going to talk about constructors. So let, first, let's talk about what constructors are. Constructors are contracts for instantiating an object. So at this point, we created our animal class with our string name and string kind. But this is what we see. On the background, our code generated a simple constructor for us or the default constructor, which is just this animal. And then we open the brackets and then our semicolon. And what this default constructor does is it makes it possible to create an object of our class without any input. So this instantiating is possible because of this constructor. We can change this constructor by saying that it needs certain inputs before we can create an instance from our class like this. Now we say, if you want to construct a class, we need a name and we need a kind. And the way this looks is something specific for Dart, but I will show you that in a later video, what I mean by this. So now when you want to create an animal object, you have to give in a name and a kind. And to show you that, let's go to our code. So here's where we left off in the last video. And let's take a look at this constructor. So what I can do now is I type here, hello here. I type animal brackets and semicolon. And as you can see, nothing changed about the code. That's because we actually typed out the default constructor the, that normally would be created for us on the background. But now let's change it up and let's give in our name and kind. And as you can see, we have now an error. And if you click here, we can see that two positional arguments expected but zero found. And when we click on it, we can see that our string name and string kind are defined here. So if I now delete this again, and I click here, then you can see that it's empty. So let's change that back. And what we can do now is instead of this, we can delete this. And we can now give in our name and kind directly into our constructor. And our object will now be set with the data that we give in. So if I now run it again, then we should see the same things. But to make sure, I'm going to print out the name value of the animal that we are going to add. Semicolon. And let's run that. And as you can see, we now have Harry, Fred, Larry, and more registered. So that works fine. This was a really quick intro into constructors. In the next video, we're going to take a look at what we can actually do more with these constructors.